So I usually don't like to spend a whole lot of time on unboxing, but this camera has a few physical attributes that does make it unique and I did want to point these out so you would you know, have a better idea what you might be getting into if you choose to buy this camera. So what makes this camera unique, at least from a physical standpoint, is that it is huge guys so right now i'm just measuring the box and you can see the box is coming in a little over 16 and a half inches uh long or tall and about eight and a half inches wide this this camera is truly massive when it comes to these sorts of things this is a piece of equipment that is geared to the commercial uh, application but just like with many commercial things uh, you can use them in a residential environment but understand that this is a highly configurable uh, piece of equipment and with some of that it can have a longer learning curve so this arm right here it's all metal very nice and heavy duty this part is a gasket that you will put behind that metal bracket that metal bracket arm. So down in here is the actual camera. I'm not exactly sure on the weight of this thing, but it's definitely the largest and heaviest PoE camera that I've ever dealt with. So from top to bottom, once the arm is mounted, you're probably gonna be somewhere around 12 inches long and about six inches wide. So this is something to, to take into consideration if you are gonna thinking about mounting this on your home, understand it is a good size camera. Now, uh, this would probably be less concern um, in a large commercial building. So this is why I wanted to point out that this is a pretty large camera. So on the back, you have four screws. Once you remove that, you will gain access to the area where you can use an SD card. Now, having the SD cards do make it convenient and it allows the camera to kind of operate more of a standalone device. Now, since this is PoE, you can have this plugged into a, an NVR or a standalone DVR and you can have this camera being recorded on a hard drive somewhere on another device or you can just have these recordings uh, being recorded right inside this camera and you can access the camera through a web browser and get your recordings and do all the things you need to do that way as you can see down at the bottom there's a cooling fan this camera is definitely heavy duty and set up to run in the extremes so whether it's hot or cold so on the left side you're looking at the pano eagle 4k auto tracking camera and on the right side is a similar camera that is much smaller so the pano eagle is not just larger it does boast some features that i've never seen on these types of cameras before so I have seen auto tracking before, but the panel Eagle on the left is faster, uh, more accurate and even smoother than any of the um, other auto tracking cameras that I've seen personally. So here I am, I'm plugging in the Ethernet and the other side of this Ethernet is plugged into a PoE switch. You could also use a PoE injector and that will supply power over Ethernet to the camera this camera is capable of a full 360 degree range of motion so if you had this mounted say like in a center of a large warehouse or something this could monitor the entire place it doesn't go so far and didn't have to come back it's full 360 so I'm going to show you some of the features that this camera has it's not every single feature that video would probably be 45 minutes to an hour to show everything this camera can do but i'm going to show you some of the main features first and foremost you're going to want to locate this this is inside the little bag with the rest of the little items that you get 
this QR code and this web address will take you to a web page where you can get the, B the PDF of the full manual. Here is the web page that that QR code and that uh, web address will take you. And here's the main thing you're gonna need. This is the user manual. So you can click view and it takes you to the PDF. So 173 pages uh, PDF here. What you can do, you can go ahead and download this and then save that locally to your computer and you can uh, go back and reference all this stuff. So one thing that I needed to know, so was the IP address. All right. All right, guys, so you see here, this is very different. This IP address is already set at the factory and it's static. Now, once you access this camera, access this camera, you can go in and you can change this IP address to something else. But understand, it is 192.168.1.108 by default. So a problem I had was my default gateway and my um, and my home network was different from this. Mine was 192.168.3.1 for my default gateway. So when I first plugged this in, I couldn't even see this camera at all on my network. So I had to access the manual, find the IP address. I ended up changing my default gateway. Um, and then I, I accessed there. I accessed this. Another option would have been creating a VLAN or a subnet, which is actually best for uh, security purposes. So I do have a smart uh, managed switch. So I'm in the process of doing that now, creating my own VLAN to keep all these separate from the rest of my network. If you're not watching in 4K, this is where you wanna make sure you switch it to 4K. Because guys, this camera just has the best looking video quality I've ever seen in these PTZ uh, POE cameras. The footage coming out of this security camera looks a lot like my mirrorless 4K camera that costs $2,500. This is a lot cheaper than that, by the way. Yeah, guys, I'm really just blown away with the quality that this camera is able to produce. I mean, guys, I mean, you're seeing it with your own eyes. You're seeing the tracking. You're seeing the video quality. And just know that YouTube, it does compress the video. So the actual footage looks better than this. Now here's uh, something that will be challenging for the camera. So as you can see, I'm just cutting some grass, but the camera, certain parts of the frame is very bright. Like if you see the, the background, it, it's still in full sun, but the foreground is all shaded right now. So the camera, has a very impressive dynamic range for a security camera. So the infrared night vision is really impressive. I'm recording with my phone just so you can see what I'm actually seeing outside. It's basically uh, pitch black and you can see this on my phone now. This is what my phone was recording. As you can see, we just got a couple of, you know, porch lights and like street light down the street, but it's basically pitch black. It's late at night and you can see that the camera had no problem seeing everything that was going on in the backyard. So now guys, I'm actually using a screen capture and uh, I just want to show you this manual track feature. And uh, so I'm just recording my screen while using the web interface for this camera. So as you can see, I just, put the box around the dog and my dog is being followed by the camera now. And it is basically pitch black outside and the camera has no issues with continuing to track, auto track and do all the things that it needs to do. So I'm using my screen capture uh, software here as well. As you can see, this is, I'm using the web interface, just going to the IP address on this camera. And this is what you would see on your computer screen. So I did set up a little AI uh, preset here. 
And as you can see, it's focusing on the vehicles and it focused on me as I was getting into the car. see as it lost sight of me it came back to its original spot it's uh seeing the truck that's there the blue box is the area that i have it monitoring so now it captures me again and as you can see guys it does a great job of keeping the the subject in the center of the of the frame so now you can see that the as I kind of went behind this truck, the camera is now focusing on this black car. It's at the side of the road. And then as I go away, it sits there for a little bit and then it's going to return. And you see how quickly it returns back to its original position. So you'll see a jogger entering and as the, the camera has got the red box on them, and he's just jogging on down the street but as you can see guys this is this is pretty advanced it can just find points of interest and track them around and like i said guys this is actually coming through that's being live captured on my uh, computer at the time so you can see so now he's way down the street and we could make out the text that was on his uh, back there. And did all this in fairly low light. So in the end, my thoughts on this camera is it is a very good camera. It has more features than any other camera I've ever dealt with, but it is Quite honestly, it is somewhat of a steeper learning curve. The reason for that, because this is a piece of professional equipment that could be deployed in fully commercial environments and to be used 24 seven, that whole nine, and understand that this can be used for home use, but there is you know a little more setup involved in something like this. So my final verdict, guys, I do recommend this camera especially if you know your way around poe cameras and ip cameras you have some experience with this sort of thing um this is going to be pretty much a walk in the park the only thing you need to know is this camera does have a static ip address um, the way it comes in the box and as long as you have that you'll be able to jump on this camera right away and uh, do anything you need to do with it so again guys you can see this video footage this is the best video quality I've seen out of any security camera, especially a PTZ camera. This camera has so many features and it's still able to boast a video quality like this. This is just, I haven't seen anything like this. This is really something. So if you wanna pick up one of these cameras, I do have a link in the description. Thanks for watching.